This video demonstrates to you how to install the fingerprint lock M32. And first, you must check the size of the hole on the door with the size of the latch. The purpose of checking the size is to make sure the, the, the hole matches the latch. The, hole should fit, the latch should fit in the hole snugly, and in this case, this is too loose. And the, pur the purpose of checking the size is to make sure the door support the latch, not the two screws on the latch alone. The hole we have here is too big for the latch. And in this case, we have decided to use a metal ring which will be wrapped on top of the latch and uh, fill in the space between the hole and the latch. And now we have put the iron ring inside the hole and then we have put in the latch inside too. Now the latch has, is fitting snugly inside the hole this is what it should, should look like. That is, the latch fits inside a hole which has the comparable size. Now screw in the two screws on the faceplate lightly. Do not tighten the two screws because you might need the adjustment after you install the other parts of the lock. Now install the front part of the lock into the hole. This is the inside of the door and now the front part of the lock is on the other side of the door. And uh, what we're holding right now is a part called the square shaft. Manufacturer has provided two square shafts in a package with different length and measure the thickness of the door and pick the square shaft with the right length. Now put on the rubber pad followed by the metal plate onto the inside of the door. Now fix the rubber pad and the metal plate onto the door by screwing two screws. Do not tighten the screws too tight. This is the rear part of the lock and as you can see the, lock, the, the middle axis of the lock has two shapes. The outside is the square shape and the middle is a round shape. The square shaft should fit in the square shape hole and the round shaped axis on the front part of the lock should fit into the round shape of the hole. And first the plug in the cable. Then Insert the square shaft and the axis into that hole we just showed you and uh, the rear part of the lock should fit in. Well, uh, fix the screw in the middle of the rear part loosely. Do not tight the screw until you put the second screw on the bottom in. Now the second screw on the bottom has in. You can tighten the middle screw now. After you fix in the rear part of the lock, turn the handle gently and the handle should not be too tight and the handle should spring back easily. And the last part is to tighten the two screws 
on the side of the lock. Now try the handle again, making sure that the handle turned easily and spring back easily. Now test the front lock. Press the spring and turn the knob gently, making sure the knob turns easily. In addition, when you turn the knob, the latch should retract completely. The last step is to install the plastic cover on the top of the lock. Okay, after you screw into screws on the cap and flip the cap a few times to make sure it's not too loose nor too tight. Now you have successfully installed the fingerprint lock M32 to your door. Thank you for purchasing M32 fingerprint lock. Now you can enjoy your high-tech fingerprint lock in your home.